If you didn't think comics were done, just wait till you see this. You don't know the power of the Nerd I saw a thumbnail on another YouTube channel, and it struck me as just god awful. Not the not not, not the YouTube video, um, but the, the 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 picture of the thumbnail. The picture was a panel of a comic book, and I looked at it. And I thought to myself, this panel is a perfect example of everything wrong with comic books these days. I've said time and time again, I don't buy new comic books. I, um, I, I buy back issues. Anything from like the early 2000s on back is what I pick up. I don't want to waste my money on the garbage that's coming out today from Marvel and DC. The other YouTube channels that review new comics, God bless you. I could not do that. You guys have a much stronger constitution than I. I couldn't I, I couldn't take reading garbage comics every week just to tell people they're garbage comics. I'll just say, you know what? If it's coming out today, it's garbage. Don't waste your money. Thanks for coming, everybody. But be very short videos. Hi, this week in uh, comic reviews. They all suck. And, well, let me... Here is the panel in question. Talking about this, 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 this. This is everything wrong with comic books today. Do we have to put our pronouns in here? I mean, please. Face Shopper. What kind of god awful superhero name is Face Shopper? And if there's a kicker, here's the kicker. Right here. Only f people I find cool. What the hell is that? What's that all about? I can just imagine now. They're out on an adventure. And they're like, hey, face shopper. You need to take this guy's appearance and go in there. And you need to distract him. No, I can't. I don't think they're cool enough. I'd be like, all right, get out. You are a garbage he hero. Just go away. No one needs you. Uh, I, the people, and I use that term loosely, writing these comic books today are some of the absolute worst writers and i can't believe they're actually called writers i just finished writing my second book and i sent it off to beta readers beta readers are people if you don't know who will read your book and they will send you back a report uh letting you know what they thought of the plot the characters the the overall you know of, of, of the book and and what parts worked for him, what parts didn't work for him. So I can get all that information back, edit, and rework, you know, some parts that didn't make sense. So when the book is absolutely finished and it goes out on the shelves, people have a book that they can read, understand, and enjoy. And it's always very scary when I send them out to beta readers because I'm afraid they're going to send me back, you know, notes like, who said you could write? Um, this is garbage. Yet every time I send a beta reader a book and they send it back, I get things like, hey, this is a great story. You're a great writer. You're a great storyteller. Can't read, can't, you know, wait to read your next book. Let me know when it comes out so I can beta read that. And then I see these comics where the writing is just atrocious. And I think to myself, 
I could do a hundred times better than that. I could do a thousand times better. I bet you there are people out there writing books like me, like, you know, superhero type books that could do a thousand times better than whoever wrote the garbage here for Face Shopper. Uh, It's just insane. Comic books are going to go the way of the dinosaur. I thought comic books were going to go the way of the dinosaur because of digital. I thought the floppies were going to go away because everything was going to go digital. But apparently uh, that's not going to happen because Comixology, their system isn't working right and people are having trouble with that. I don't know. I don't do online comics. I like the physical stuff. Uh, But I really thought digital was going to destroy the comic. No. Bad writing by garbage writers are going to destroy comic books. And it's it's not it's, it's not even it's not even that it's it's not even the pronouns and 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 the agendas well it is an agenda it's the villains where are the good villains anymore you look at the new superman son of kal-el what's he fighting climate change i mean come on the only decent hero DC has right now is Batman. The only decent villain DC has right now is whatever dark version of Batman they're having. Or the Joker. (laughs) That's it. Do, do, Do you know who the villain is these days? The main villain of just about every garbage woke comic book? You. You're the villain. They hate you, and they want to make sure you know it. A couple months ago, X-Men Green came out with a comic book. And they had this lovely comic uh, panel right here. Where the so-called hero, Nature Girl, finds a plastic bag. Uh, A turtle is choking on a plastic bag. She pulls the plastic bag out of the thing's mouth, sees the name of the store, goes to the store, walks up to the first person working at the store they meet, she meets, and murders them in cold blood. That guy probably had a family. He could have had a wife and kids. Did Nature Girl think about that? Nope. Oh, there was a bag being ch- ch- being eaten by a turtle. Dabs him in the neck with a pair of scissors. That's the villain. Why why isn't she being brought to justice? Why isn't someone going after her? Uh, Yeah. Comics. I love comics. Comics are what got me into writing. Comics. I, yeah, comics inspired me to write my books. And I have a lot of books in here I can't wait to write. All inspired by comic books. And I want people to read these books because, again, they're written for comic book fans. Whatever's being put out by Marvel and DC, they're not written by comic book fans. These people couldn't care less about the comic book fans. They care about an agenda. They care about um, pushing, you know, making sure people use the proper pronouns. Hi, I'm so-and-so. My pronouns are tree and ditch. And if you don't use those pronouns, you're a horrible bigot, and I hope you and your family die a horrible, horrible death. I'm pretty sure that's what they're thinking when they're writing this stuff. I can't say for sure. You know, I'm not a mind reader. But just looking at this stuff, you got to wonder, 
I mean, please. When they when 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 they come out and they say, if you don't like my, you know, if you don't like my stories, don't buy my books. Why? I'm not gonna buy your books. I'm not buying any of your books. Yeah, so just uh just me up on my soapbox with a rant. Uh hope everybody's having a uh, a wonderful week. Uh, I appreciate everybody who has uh, subscribed. Got a few more subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are are uh, you guys are surprising me. Um, this little bitty channel that I, I didn't think would go anywhere keeps keeps growing little by little, and I really do appreciate that. Uh, helping me out a lot. Uh, you guys are great. I love talking comics with you. I love talking other stuff with you. Uh, Sci-fi, fantasy. If it's nerdy, I want to talk about it. So, I enjoy talking to you guys. I I like the fact that you guys like me enough to subscribe. Uh, share this video with your friends. Uh, give it a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, there's a lot of you guys out there watching this who haven't subscribed... If I've earned that subscription today, go ahead and just click the subscribe. Uh, hit the little bell so you can get all the uh, all the info when I do release another video. And, you know, if you are interested in my book, it's called Deadlock. Uh, the, descript the description, the, uh, the where wherever you can go get it, is down below in the comments. Uh... So that would be a really great way to uh, help uh, help a writer out. Go buy a book. And read it. Read a real superhero story. Not this garbage they're trying to pass off now. Uh, again, thank you guys. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next video.